Happy Friday, bowl fans, and oh my goodness, Soapies, do I have some juicy tidbits for you from the world of the bold and the beautiful. I mean, buckle up because the drama is spilling faster than a toppled martini in a L.A. gala. I'm going to give you a few highlights, and then we'll dive deep into this episode. First, we see Steffi telling Brooke to handle Hope. We see Bill trying to defend Poppy to Katie, and Hope fantasizes about about Finn once again. So without any further ado, let's talk about this Friday cliffhanger for June 14. First up, we over at Forrester Creations where Steffi has wound up as a cat in a room full of rocking chairs. She's grilling Brooke asking if she's worried about Hope's sudden oh-so-innocent interest in Finn. Now, Brooke, bless her heart, tries to play it cool and clueless, calling them quote-unquote friends. But Steffi, sharp as ever, yes, yeah, she's not buying it. They're practically attached at the hip, Brooke. Now, weddings, funerals, you name it, they're together. She She's not just being paranoid, she's right on the money, and she doesn't want that kind of energy around her marriage. Now, Brooke about to defend Hope when it's flashback time. Remember Hope's confession about her feelings for Finn? Oh, Brooke does, and it's all written all over her face. Hello? Steffi snaps, pulling Brooke back to reality. Are you even hearing me right now? Now, Steffi's practically begging Brooke to help keep Hope away from Finn, accusing Hope of being a Sheila apologist. Now, Brooke tries to assure her that Hope isn't suggesting Finn give Sheila another chance, but Steffi, yeah, once again, she's not having it. She says it's a slippery slope, Brooke. Someone's going to get hurt. With that, Steffi stumps out, leaving Brooke to mumble about how complicated it, everything is. Meanwhile, at the Spencer Mansion, Bill is cozying up with his poppy. Now, she is thrilled about moving into the house, but Bill tells her, don't get too comfy. He got plans to whisk her away to the Stella Morris and their mid-smooch when guess who walks in because they don't lock doors on this show, Katie. All apologies and awkwardness. Now, Katie's not here for pleasantries, though. She's diving straight into interrogation mode, asking why it took so long for Bill and Poppy to figure out Luna was his daughter. Now, Bill, ever the smooth talker, explains that Poppy was scared of her feelings for him. Cue the eye roll. Now, Katie, yes, yeah, she's not letting up. Oh, we're already using the L word, she says. Now, Poppy is gushing about how she couldn't help but love Bill. And Katie's grilling Bill about his intentions, especially how it affect their son, Will. Now, Bill is all smiles, thrilled about his his new daughter and sure that Will will come around eventually. Now, Katie's skeptical, but admits that once the shock wears off, Will might just be happy about meeting Luna. Now, Bill and Poppy snug as bugs on the sofa look like a picture-perfect family, much to Katie's barely concealed jealousy. And finally, let's cut to the cabin where Hope and Finn are sharing coffee and some serious eye contact. Now, Hope's thanking Finn for helping out with Beth, and he's all bashful about it. Cute, right? They chat about ER stories and Hope can't help but call him a miracle worker, which makes him blush even more. Now, she's worried about getting him in trouble with Steffi, but Finn, yeah, he brushed it off. Really, Finn? Cue the long and lingering hug. Just when you think things are getting steamy, Finn leaves only to return his forgotten phone. Convenient, huh? Hope takes this as a sign to spill her heart, telling Finn how much he means to her. She is practically swooning, listing all of his perfect qualities. It's all very dreamy until bam, she's kissing him, tearing off his shirt, and then waking up on the couch. Girl, it was a nap time fantasy. What am I doing? I can't. He's Steffi's husband. Classic soap opera right there. Okay, so there you have it, and oh, the tangled webs we weave in the glamorous world of LA's most scandalous families. Let's get the conversation started down in the comment section. What do you think about the conversation with Steffi telling Brooke to handle Hope? And especially since Brooke already knows what's going on in Hope's head, and it has nothing to do with Sheila Carter right now. And then we see Bill defending Poppy to Katie. They need to lock doors on this show. Katie just sashayed in talking about oh they let me in at the gate girl 
you know you just wanted to pop in just to see what's going on and you walk right into a kiss and yeah bill oh yeah he stood firm when it came to talking about poppy to katie and then hope once again her fantasies are trying to get hotter and hotter not about thomas but when it comes to finn boy oh boy it look like finn don't have a clue at least we think for now so let me know your thoughts also make sure you check out the young and the restless recap today we had a bomb shell we had confrontations the confrontation between diane and nikki the confrontation between diane and kyle and then we also had a bombshell where we saw victor newman is teaming up with audra charles make sure you like comment and subscribe turn on that notification so you're notified every time a video is posted till the next one we'll see you guys soon bye